Um, the Y director of the YMCA in Fort Dodge, Iowa was Jerry Heil. And he recruited a lot of Y directors out of that area. He just had a natural knack for it. And when he found out, I, I worked for him part time at the main desk. And when he found out that I was interested, he said, well, you have to go to George Williams College. It is the gateway to the YMCA profession. George Williams College, in combination with the Chicago Y, proved to be the most amazing resource for how to run YMCAs. As we get into some of the questions about the instructors and some of those things, uh, it's it just uh, the development of the Y at that time was all centered, almost all, on the YMCA. The instructors and the professors came out of the Y in many cases. They had had professional positions and they used their, uh, their experience with their teaching. I, I give a lot of credit to the professors and teachers of George Williams College because they had expertise in their field, but they also had the YMCA experience that gave us some real insights into what we were headed for and what they had gone through and, and handled successfully. Um, they shared their enthusiasm for working as a YMCA director. You could just sense that they really believed that they were doing very valuable work and important work and anxious that, to pass that on to us. The YMCA of today is very different than the Y that I worked with in the 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s, and there have been a lot of changes. But the Y is still here. We've lived through 167 years of, of service, and we're still vital and important, I think, for one basic reason. We manage change. We understand it, that it's going to happen, it doesn't frighten us, and we do change. And I think George Williams is the same way. There have been a lot of changes. You've changed campuses, you've changed different colleges, and, and so forth, and uh, or ch college related circumstances with Aurora University. But I haven't lived through that so much, but I can sense that both organizations have that vitality to say, yes, there will be changes and we will make them unlike a number of other organizations that I've been called to work with on occasion that don't exist because they refuse to change.